Well, hello, I am Corvette Hop. Welcome to the channel. I know this channel would not be possible if it wasn't for you tuning in. Today, we're going to do some work on the trunk lid of this 2014 C7 Corvette. We're going to insulate the back area and apply a decorative covering on the back of the trunk lid. Now, to insulate the trunk area, I went ahead and cut out some sound barrier material. Now, yeah, we don't necessarily need sound barrier in the trunk area, however, it does provide a great installation. I went ahead and cut out a piece in which we're going to apply right here. In turn, we're going to apply in this area, this area, this area, and this area. And then we're going to put a decorated covering over the entire trunk. With that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and wipe down the area where we're going to put the sound dampening material. And this is just so we can get away, get rid of some of the the grease and grime, maybe even wax that's under. Now I already have these cut out. We'll go ahead and start applying. And simply just peel off the back. Now as you press down on this material, that's how it uh, reacts and starts its sticking power. Again, the only reason we're doing this is just to cool down the temperature inside the trunk. So when we carry in groceries or goods or anything like that, it just doesn't get so hot inside the trunk area. I'm going to go ahead and roll this one on, and then after that, I'm going to speed up through the video. And of course, you can pause at any time. Now we'll go ahead and, uh, and apply the decorative backing to the trunk. It has a uh, Corvette Stingray emblem on it. Is all I'm doing is applying a little bit of duct tape temporarily so that I can mark the holes. That way I can see where I need to drill. I'm careful that I mark the holes in the exact spot where I need them. Next we'll go ahead and drill the holes. Notice I have a drill stop on the top of the drill bit. This will ensure that I do not drill through the top of the trunk. I'm extra careful just in case we have equipment failure. I ended up drilling six holes. By the way, I did apply some Velcro on the back side of the decor cover. That will ensure that it holds firmly when I install it. Here I'm just pressing on the outer edge of the decor cover to ensure the Velcro holds. Next, go ahead and install the plugs, six plugs all together, in the holes that we had previously drilled. Then we could put the tabs in, just like this. And now we are into the final steps, and this is what it looks like up to this point. And the final step. Go ahead and press the tabs in to lock the decor cover into place. And this is the final result. Notice how clean it looks. And now I could keep my favorite beverage just a little bit cooler 
in the trunk area. Hey, thank you for watching and keep those cars on the road.